Say, bro, Lamar Jackson put on the show tonight. Before we get into this video, everybody go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you can receive a notification every single time we post a video. Welcome to Sports R Us. And tonight, Lamar Jackson put on a show. He was 18 of 26, had 239 yards uh, passing and one touchdown. Now, he did have two interceptions, um, but he made up for that in the running game. He had 16 carries on 107 yards with two touchdowns with an average of 6.7 yards per carry. He put up a big time game, big time game, real big time game. Now, of course, like I said, those interceptions, those things are going to happen. You know, the way that he throws, the, the his versatility, and just the way that he moves in the pocket and moves around the field, he's going to take those different chances uh, with passes. And, you know, sometimes those passes are going to be picked off. You know, you just have to take the good with the bad as it pertains to Lamar Jackson. Uh, because the thing is, is that he may throw some interceptions. You know, um, he may throw some wild, you know, some wild passes. But... He makes it up with those highlight big time plays that he makes and his improvising skills. He, he is a he's a big time improviser. His improvision skills is is top notch. Is is almost that of and I don't even want to say this, but you know, when you think of somebody like Barry Sanders, his ability to, you know, just think quickly on his feet to shift and move and do certain things. Lamar Jackson has a little bit of that. I'm not going to give him all the way Barry, but I would say that he has the ability to be very shifty and move throughout the pocket and he can make moves within the pocket and still get a throw off, you know, that you like, man, he jumped up in the sky just to make that throw. But his athleticism and his ability, the way that he moves and the way that he, you know, can put a ball in the, in, in, in the right place is, 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 is top notch. It's top notch. So, you know, this was one of those big games. Of course, this is Patrick Mahomes going up against Lamar Jackson. So it was one of those showdowns. You know, you had Patrick Mahomes who had 343 yards. He is more of a pocket passer. You know, he, he has improvision skills as well, but he's more of a passing quarterback. Unlike um, Lamar Jackson, he was 24 of 31. So he had a pretty good game. Great percentage as it pertains to throwing. Uh, had three touchdowns and one interception. But Lamar Jackson just became too much for that team. And one thing, one person I do want to shout out, of course, Honey Badger. I'm a big fan of Honey Badger. He's from New Orleans, so I'm always going, going to show love to Honey Badger. And he came straight into the game after missing last week because of COVID protocol. He came straight in and hit a pick six in the first quarter. And then got another interception in the first quarter as well so he put up a big time game he did what he had to do in order to you know help his team win and it came down to the end this game was 36 35 and it would have to be honest with you the Chiefs would have came back but at the end you know towards the end there was a fumble that happened um, at the end of the game and that was a costly fumble it was with one minute and in 26 seconds on the clock on the clock and um you know Edwards fumbled the ball you know they were getting down the field they were going you know that was on a Baltimore's 34 so they were going downfield you know they were about to get that field goal that they needed in order to close out and seal that game but you know they popped the ball out he fumbled it and he gave it back over to the um, to the Ravens who nailed the ball and you know they sealed that fate and Lamar Jackson like I said put on the show tonight he put on the show his improvision skills is top-notch he had those two touchdowns rushing. He had that one touchdown throwing. He did everything he needed to do to win this game. So, you know, even if they would have lost, you would have still looked at him and said, of course, he threw those two interceptions. But he still did enough in order to get them to win. Shout out to Lamar Jackson. He did his thing. And I look forward to seeing him play next Sunday. So everybody go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you can receive a notification every single time we post a video. Make sure you share this on social media as well. And just let me know what you thought of this game down below. Leave some comments down below letting me know how you felt about Lamar Jackson, how you feel about his improvision skills, and you know what you think about baby Ed Reed, Tyron Matthew getting those two picks in the game. Y'all let me know what y'all think. This has been Sports R Us. I appreciate y'all.